at the end of the day, in the revolution, in the Civil War, in World War II and the Great Depression, it's you who made the right decision. Well, former chief strategist to President Donald Trump and outspoken conservative Steve Bannon spent the evening here in western New York. He spoke at a get out and vote rally at the Jameson Volunteer Fire Hall in Elma in front of hundreds of local Republicans. Well, Bannon's visit, of course, was met with some protesters tonight who held signs across the street. At one point during his speech, a rock band started playing music to try and interrupt the event. I don't believe that there is room for hate, hate speech. Um, I don't feel that it should be given a platform. Um, I don't want to be the type of person who is only concerned when it's in my backyard. Even though it is in my backyard, I think that it's just hitting too close to home. Before he took stage tonight, Bannon spoke with Two On Your Side's Dave McKinley about a number of issues leading up to the midterm elections. In a much quieter room away from the rally, Steve Bannon sat in this chair and for several minutes went one-on-one -on -one with us to answer our questions. You worked to help get the president elected. Yes, most You certainly. worked in the White House yeah. for a year. You left. A book comes out. A bunch of things are attributed to you and the president disavows you. Yeah. Sloppy Steve on yeah. Twitter how and all that. Possibly, how do you say possibly sloppy Steve? <laughs> look, I come from, okay, look, okay, I come from, I come, no, I come from, an Irish, still I come from, I come from, yes, come on. Okay, I've, so, been, I've been on the, 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 because Trump is a leader. Trump is the leader of this movement. I've been working on this populist economic nationalism for nine years before I met Donald Trump. Look what Donald Trump's done in two years. I come from an Irish Catholic family with a couple of brothers. I get called a lot worse than sloppy Steve. Do you still have a personal relationship with the president? I'm not so sure I had a personal relationship with him before. This is, what this, 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 this is the problem with the media. I I, no, no, this is the problem with the media. When I came in, I knew Trump you know, somewhat. I was able to take the CEO of the, of the campaign. I worked in the White House as a staffer. It's not like we're buddies. Right, and, I, and I'm, I'm not looking for a friend, and he's not looking for a friend. I'm a populist, and he's president of the United States. He is hitting on every possible goal that we ever set out. And that's why, by the way, I took the last nine months of my life, made this film. I'm going around the country in districts just like here in western New York, and I'm saying, if you're a Trump supporter, if you're a Trump voter, this is a midterm election that's a presidential reelect, and you've got to show up to vote. Kavanaugh situation, yeah. it's all shaken down. Does it help the GOP or hurt them in the midterms? I don't think, look, I think what, I think the one thing, let's leave Dr. Ford and all the accusations aside, because that's for another, I think what happened is that when we nationalized this election and got people to start thinking, the Trump voters start thinking, this is not a midterm. This is really his first reelect. That, that you've got to come out and vote, okay? That was step does one. Does it help his no, first reelect to hurt it? Yeah, but a step, I think Kavanaugh did two things, and let me bifurcate that. I think the hearings themselves showed the Trump voter and Trump supporter what the future will be like if we lose the House of Representatives. It was a show trial, like the Moscow show trials in the 1930s. You saw the Democrats. And so I think people said, hey, if that's what you want, then don't show up to vote November 6th. The second part of that, I think, was the comportment and the behavior of people on the vote itself, the gallery, and then afterwards in the plaza at the Capitol and at the Supreme Court where there was a mob. And I think that reinforced to people, hey, I don't want that. I like the order that Trump is going on, and I'd rather support that. I think Kavanaugh was the accelerant. And then there was the Chris Collins question. In response, Steve Bannon says he doesn't know the congressman, may have met him once, but repeated the oft-heard phrase and what you might expect him to say, which was that you're not necessarily voting for Chris Collins if you support the president. You are voting for the president. In Elma, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Dave. And if you want to watch Dave's entire interview with Steve Bannon, just head over to our website, WGRZ.com.